Hey guys, I'm Ivory and today we are going to be decluttering my makeup collection. A couple of videos ago, I showed you the entire cost breakdown of my current makeup collection and I told you that this one was coming next and I kept my promise. I'm so reliable. Everything that I'm getting rid of today is from my vanity, from like the acrylic drawers on top of my vanity to the actual drawers that are in built with my vanity. There's some packages on the side that I was planning on doing a giveaway with, but given COVID, probably not wise to be sending that out because who knows, maybe I'm asymptomatic and I have no idea. So I have to sift through those boxes to see what I want to keep because I put a lot of good stuff for a giveaway, but now I can't do a giveaway, so there's that all of the makeup that i am getting rid of unfortunately will be thrown away some of the makeup products are expired and then on top of that because of the pandemic same reasons why i'm not doing the giveaway it just doesn't seem safe so unfortunately all of it will be thrown away let me know if you want to see more declutter videos because i was thinking of doing a declutter for my closets i have so many clothes that i keep thinking like oh i'll lose the weight and then it will fit again and let's just face it i am what i am i'm thick okay the thing is i probably could do it if i had the willpower but it's like like, I, I don't have any. And of course, there's the whole, oh, but you'll be so much healthier at that size. Do I want to give up french fries and chips and cookies? Not really. Like, I could make that sacrifice, but like, do I want to? No. But today is going to be purely makeup beauty related declutter. So let's get started. Okay, so quick side note, all of the stuff that I'm gonna get rid of is gonna go into this bag so I can just toss it out. So if you hear a bunch of like clunking, it's just me tossing it into this bag. All right, so first things first, I'm just gonna work with the stuff that's on top of my vanity. So this acrylic drawer. I'm gonna be honest, a lot of the stuff that I really like, I keep up top for easy accessibility. However, some of them are too old and they need to go. We'll start off here. This is a blemish healing pen that a friend gave me, but I feel like what I'm doing right now is working for me, except, oh my God, look at this guy. Everything Everything else looks pretty good I'd say and then there's this guy who thinks he owns the place but with the exception of this beast I feel like my skin's doing pretty well so it hasn't been because of this so it's gotta go I also have this pomade I don't like pomades this is a lip scrub I never use lip scrubs and then these are foundations but they have hardened are they still usable? This is the L'Oreal Infallible. It doesn't feel the same. It feels like a mousse. You know what? I think these are still usable. The L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear is one of my favorite foundations and this is the only amount I have left in my correct shade. So I'm having a hard time letting this one go because I can't repurchase it because as you know, I don't purchase non-cruelty-free makeup products anymore. And then this one is Beauty Blender. I'm planning on doing a wear test on them, but I don't know if it's any good. I mean, like it's not moving. I remember the foundations being quite liquidy. Like they're not, they're not moving. I'm gonna keep them anyways. They're too, they barely take up any space, okay? The next drawer, primers. I don't know why I kept the Smashbox photo finish. I think I kept it because I have the original packaging, but like, honestly, who cares? So I gotta go. Urban Decay Primer Potion. I believe that's empty too, and I've used it almost completely up, so it's not like a bunch of it is going to waste. I think this is a good enough collection. There's still plenty of room on top to stack if I want to. I think that's good for now. Let's move on to lips. See, this drawer is all the ones that I like, that I wanna keep. I'm gonna be honest, I really like all of these. I don't wanna get rid of anything. <laughs> okay, I might get rid of the ColourPop ones. Okay, I like that shade. See, all of these are really pretty shades. How can I get rid of them? <laughs> this is hard. You know what, I'm gonna revisit this one. Don't judge me. I know that look. I can smell the disappointment through the screen. This one, however, is the bad drawer, so we should have started here. This one is the Midas Cosmetics Lip Gloss in the shade number four. Their lip glosses, they're a little bit sticky, and over time, I get that weird rim action happening on the inside of my of my mouth. I don't really get that with the Smoky Glow lip glosses that they collaborated with, but I do with their original lip glosses, and I'm not a huge fan of metallics. Next off, we have this lip wand. It is a fuchsia color, and I mean, the pigment is nice it's great but i don't know what it is but i hate the color fuchsia it's weird because i love pink pink's my favorite color and purple is one of my favorite colors as well but them as a hybrid i i just don't like it and that goes for pretty much fuchsia anything i don't like fuchsia nails i don't like fuchsia lip glosses sweaters clothing i don't know why i have such a disgust for fuchsia but i do so goodbye there's also the vivid matte liquid lipsticks first of all i think these are discontinued if i remember correctly and this is also the worst liquid lipstick i've ever had i don't know if you could see at the top of the bottle but there's also like green stuff happening and forming at the top of it so that doesn't seem too good so goodbye makeup forever oh my god i love okay 
Ugh, that glide was so rough. This has to go, but also I never really liked this even in its prime because it always stuck to my teeth, but I loved the color of it. That's a pretty shade. Why don't I use that more often? I'm gonna promote you to up here. Oh my God, that was the worst decision ever. Next off, I have these Marc Jacobs. They're gloss sticks, but I, I don't know. I'm not like really into it. They're nothing spectacular to me, so. Bye. Take a shot every single time I say bye. I have a feeling I'm gonna say it a lot. I got these in PR. I never use them, so I don't feel like I'm gonna miss them either. See, the thing is I want to have a nice variety, so that way I have a color for every type of occasion that I may possibly want. Ooh, okay, this one is a better version of that one, so I can get rid of this one. And that's all I'm gonna get rid of here. My hands are gonna be so stained. The next category we have is foundations and powders. The first to go is the Flower Beauty Finishing Powder, I think it's called, yeah. This will give you the worst flashback ever. And also, if you set your face and then try to put bronzer and blush or highlight on top of it, good luck. This makes your face too smooth to the point where it's almost slippery. Nothing will adhere to your face. It won't let bronzer go onto your face, blush, highlight, basically anything powder. It will just slide right off. This is the worst powder I have ever tried. I think people might have anticipated that I have this huge foundation collection, but as you can see, I don't. But I have one, two, three, four, seven full size and then two mini sizes. And then in the back here, I have a bunch of samples. I don't know why I keep these because I rarely go into them. You know what, maybe it's time we start because these are at least two years old. So as painful as this is for me, I think they have to go. Oh. <laughs> Okay, goodbye. I'm just gonna keep these. These are the Clinique Stay Mats, mostly because I really like the jars. So I'll use them up until I have the jars. And these are really great for when you travel, if I ever decide to travel again. So I'm only keeping two samples. I did not expect to give those up. Seriously, my heart hurts right now. I'm also getting rid of the Morphe foundation. I kept it because I really liked how full coverage it is. So I kept it in case I needed to mix it with something else to make it more full coverage. But I have plenty of full coverage foundations actually. So I ended up never using this. I also think I wanna get rid of the Misha Cushion Foundation. I didn't really like it, but I really liked that I had a high SPF, but the smell was overbearing. Next off we have concealers, Tarte Creaseless. This is so sticky. I don't like the way this blends. And so I have to get rid of that. And I only have three left in here. So I think that's fine. That is a perfectly acceptable amount. Moving on to the next drawer, bronzers and highlighters. This is from Ipsy and and I thought the color was really pretty and I was gonna use this as maybe eyeshadow, but I never did. See, this is the problem. I think I'm gonna use it for a specific case and then I don't and it just sits here. I'm also getting rid of the Midas Cosmetics highlighters. These are loose highlighters and first of all, I hate loose highlighters. Secondly, these are glittery and I don't like that in a highlighter. I like it to just be kind of like beaming, natural looking, but these have like a weird glitter sparkle into it that I, I don't like. And I also, like I said, I hate loose powders, so they have to go. There's also the Natasha Denona Blush and Glow. I don't think I've even tried this yet. This is uh not very impressive in that blush color. Yeah, it's a sheen, like a sparkly, not sparkly, but it has a luminous finish and I just don't like those anymore. Moving on to bronzers. So I'm getting rid of the Maybelline Master Contour. This is a perfect example of something that I bought because I wanted to do a full face of Maybelline products. So I bought it for the video and that's basically my only reason why I bought it. I mean, it's seven bucks, it's not a huge waste, but it's little things like this that add up that I really regret at the beginning years of starting my channel was buying things just for the sake of having a video or video content. I have this Kevin Aquan thing. Yeah, same thing. Uh, no. Next off, we have blushes in my Z palette. I have to get rid of this blush because it's from BH Cosmetics, but it's discontinued. It came in a, in a kit with this highlighter and then some banana powder and I think a contour, but I used up the contour, but it's discontinued anyway. So it's not like you could get it. So I'm just gonna throw them away. And then the rest of these, I don't use super often, but I do use them. So I think I can keep them. And this is unrelated, but now that I have less oily skin, I want to try cream blushes again with a new technique. Now that I don't really set my face but if they don't work out, they're being evicted. So you guys are in hot water right now. Okay, so we're moving on to the other side of my vanity. And the first is brushes. The reason why I have so many brushes is because say I'm doing a wear test and I need to do one side with a sponge and then the other side with a brush. But then the brush that I wanna use is already dirty from a different foundation. So then you need a backup, but then I do that with everything. And then I tell myself, you know what? What if I wanna do like five wear tests in a row and I need five different foundation brushes? And before you know it, 
I do have five foundation brushes. So that's a problem in itself because in foundation brushes, I have one, two, I have eight freaking foundation brushes. And these are just the backups, okay? There's also the ones that are already on my vanity that I'm currently using. This is not necessary. This is excessive. So let's cut this in half and see where this goes. These look exactly the same. Oh my God, they're exactly the same. They're the same freaking brush. When did that happen? Okay, so I'm just gonna get rid of one. Which one looks better? This one has a loose ferrule. Okay, so that one goes. I'm actually gonna get rid of the foundation brush that is currently on my vanity because as you can see, the wood is cracked and I'm not getting rid of it because the quality isn't good. It's still good, but I have pretty much an exact replacement of it and they're both the same price point on Amazon. And this one I've just had for years. So I think, oh, this is like my first set of brushes that I ever bought too. So it does have a little bit of sentimental value, but we must part ways, goodbye. I'm actually gonna throw away all my BS small brushes because my best taupe ones, the ones with a silver ferrule, they were basically the exact same kit and they're newer. So I think it's time to just get rid of them. But I highly recommend these if you are just starting out and you want a full kit as opposed to buying individual brushes and you don't know where to start. Another really good inexpensive set of brushes are the ones by Wet n Wild. I get these from the Dollar Tree and they're they're a dollar. I actually really like the quality of them and I think that they look really pretty too. Pink's my favorite color. But I'm getting rid of this one just because it is a flat top kabuki and I, I have like four of them. Okay, another thing I'm a real sucker for is powder brushes. I don't know what it is, but the bigger the brush, Brush, the more excited I get. But I have five spares and I also have two more, one downstairs in my filming setup and then one on top of my vanity. I think I'm gonna get rid of these two. This one, the one that I'm getting rid of, I love this brush. I use this for so long. It feels so soft. It's only a couple bucks. It's the e.l.f. ones. They have really good and expensive brushes as well. Do you remember when these were a craze? These are the silicone blenders. They were popular because they were supposed to not absorb any product. So you would use less, but I really didn't like these. But I will say that the feeling of them is quite nice. Like they make a nice stress ball, but that's really about it. So I'm, I'm gonna toss these. I knew I was gonna get rid of these. So these, I don't know who the hell uses these, but these are such weird brushes. They're like cylindrical. I don't know what purpose they serve, but they came in so many of my eye brush sets and I've had them for years. And to this day, I still, I never use them. And then these brushes, I used to like them, but since then I have graduated and I feel like I have better brushes that do a better job than what these used to do. They were good for the time, but I've leveled up since then. Ugh. Oh my God, such hard decisions. I feel like they all have a purpose. Okay, I'm not gonna over gonna think this. That one goes, this one goes, goodbye, goodbye, see ya, peace out, farewell, arrivederci. Okay, I think we got rid of a lot. Next off we have eyeshadow singles. Here's the thing that I've come to realize. I do not like eyeshadow singles. Having a product where it just is one color is not appealing to me. I never think to myself, oh my God, I just want this one shade. When for the same amount of money, you can usually get a pretty good palette. So let's start with these. These are the Midas Cosmetics pressed glitters. They are chunky. They don't stay on my lid, even with a glitter primer. I'm getting rid of all of these. I'm also getting rid of these loose glitters. I, I've come to realize I don't like loose anything really, with the exception of loose setting powder. But anything else that's loose is just, I don't like it. All these loose glitters can go. Same thing, I haven't reached for this in years. Same thing with this one. Does it even work anymore? Yeah, oh my God, that's horrible. Time to go. I have a bunch of single shadows that I got from Ipsy. And other than when I wore them the first time, I. I never use these again, so these need to go. I have liquid shadows from Stila. If you are gonna invest in liquid shadows, these are the only ones that I actually like. Like I will actually recommend these to you. However, only get the ones that are actually metallic because they don't dry out. Let's try Grace. Yeah, you see, it's still nice and wet and metallic and it glides on really nicely. However, if you get the ones with glitter in it, they dry out so fast and it's just like, there, it's nothing and there's glitter flaking everywhere in my room right now So don't get the ones that have glitter in it because they will dry out. These are from morphe They discontinued it, but I don't know if these are still good. Oh, oh, these are actually pretty good nice and wet still these I should use these are nice eye toppers too. Next off we have nail polishes. I'm not gonna bore you with this one I'm just gonna throw away all the ones that I think are ugly or they're super dry And I also have these bottles of nail art. Look at this. The oil is like separate from the bottle. It's so gross I'm just gonna toss a bunch of these out 
Okay, I think that's it for nail polishes. Oh my God, I have the funniest story. Looking at the nail polishes reminded me of this. So about a month ago, I bought a bunch of new polishes from China Glaze online. A couple weeks later, I get a package from them. I open it up and they're not my polishes. They were perfectly nice polishes, but obviously not the ones that I wanted. And the name was for someone else. It was for someone in New York. So I called customer service and they're like, okay, keep the polishes and we will send you the correct ones right now. So I got free polishes. This actually being one of them. But on the packing slip is not only the person's name, but their phone number. So a couple days ago, I get a text from the girl who I got her package and she says oh I got your nail polishes and customer service says you got mine so I hope you enjoy so I texted her back like oh I love your nail polishes I wouldn't think to get them for myself but I actually am wearing one of them right now and I hope you like the ones I picked and she goes oh my god I love the nail polishes that you have so I thought it was funny that one we both got free nail polishes and two we ended up communicating about how much we love each other's choices but that's all I wanted to share so we're gonna move right along to eyeshadow palettes Woo! These are actually all of my luxury eyeshadow palettes. I'm gonna get rid of the Pure Midnight Masquerade. This is what it looks like. It has blushes, highlights. This eyeshadow story is just not speaking to me. This is the only matte. This is way too dark to be a transition color, at least for me. So the fact that this is the only matte color that I would be able to use. And then these blushes, I, I mean, they're all right, but I just, this does not speak to me. Oh, okay, Juvia's Place. Now, I really liked the quality of these. However, this color story is super, confusing and overwhelming to me and i thought that i would save this if i ever did a full face of juvia's place but honestly if i was going to do a full face of it i just I wouldn't use this palette because I just don't like it. I like the quality, don't get me wrong, but this color story, just, I'm not into it, so. I'm contemplating whether or not I wanna get rid of this because I know I use some of these shades on my wedding day, but other than that, I never reach for it, especially since I have better eyeshadows. You know what, I think it's okay. I'm not gonna think about it too much. Wait. Are these all shimmers? I've never actually opened these. They're all shimmers. This is not a finished palette. This is like three combined eyeshadow singles. And like I said, I hate eyeshadow singles. And I think that's it. There's, there's still plenty of room in here, especially when I stack them like this. And then the last drawer is my drugstore and affordable eyeshadow palette. So the first one to go is this one from Midas Cosmetics. This is super boring and quality's all right, but it's just... It's whatever, and I feel like a lot of these shades can be replicated from other palettes. This one's also by Midas Cosmetics. Color story just isn't really my jam, so bye. This one was sent to me through someone on Amazon, and I did a review on all of the stuff that they gave me except the eyeshadow palette. And they messaged me and they said, oh, you didn't do a review on the eyeshadow palette. And I straight up said, your eyeshadow palette is really bad quality, and I... I didn't want to say anything negative about it, so I just didn't use it on my channel. And they're like, oh, okay. But now you guys know this eyeshadow palette is horrible. This is also a really bad eyeshadow palette. This one is from Sleek Makeup. And I'm not saying that Sleek Makeup isn't good. I like their highlighting palette a lot, but just this eyeshadow palette, which one is this called? Vintage Romance. This one specifically is not good. NYX Off Tropic. I've come to realize and accept that I'm just not a super colorful person. So I think this has to go. And I think that's it that I'm gonna get rid of from this drawer. So there's still plenty of room to stack behind here. And the last thing is this box. Some of this was supposed to go to a giveaway. Some of this I was selling on Poshmark. Some of this I was planning on just giving away to friends. Okay, so these are lip products. Some of these I've never even tried. You know what, I've had these for over a year and I didn't even know that I had them. So I think they should be thrown away. Next off we have, I don't even know what's in this one. All right, we have a brush from Luxie. This is clearly from Ipsy. This is nice. I'll keep this one. We have a velvet liquid lipstick. It's like a fuchsia cranberry color. I, yeah, no. Eyeshadow singles, nope. Hydrating primer. Okay, I'm gonna keep that. Ooh, that's pretty. We'll keep that there for now. And then this is a clay mask. I'll keep this. And this is a moisturizer. Those are things I will actually use. This is the Midas Cosmetics Flower Balm. I liked it, I didn't love it. And the glitters are just, the glitters are a little bit too coarse. I'm not a huge fan of their glitters. And like I told you, I'm not really a colorful person. I've tried and I definitely go out of the box more because I'm on YouTube. In reality, I only like a little bit of color and this is just, this is too colorful for me. Oh my God, I forgot I had this. Is this armed and gorgeous? I had no idea I was getting rid of this. Well, I'm gonna follow through. This is from Essence. It's like a brow powder thing. No. This one I was gonna sell on Poshmark. What kind of person would make a palette with only shimmers. I think that is the stupidest thing ever. I just swatched them and they look all right, but 
no. This was definitely gonna go in a, a giveaway and it was the Murad Ultimate Moisture. I do like moisturizers this time of year, so I'm gonna keep all that. This was also gonna go in a giveaway. It's an age-defying exfoliator. I'm pretty sure my friend gave me this, but I wanna try this now that I'm not giving it away. This is a youth serum. Okay, I'll try it. These were gonna go in a giveaway. I love these colors and I'm sad you guys aren't gonna get that giveaway, so. I'm gonna keep them. <laughs> These are also gonna go in a giveaway. These are loose setting powders. This one is banana powder and mm, the Derma Blend one I'm gonna keep though because I actually really love this powder. We got a sheet mask. I love sheet masks, so keeping that eyeshadow single, throw away. This was a palette that I don't know what I was gonna do with it, but I haven't used it yet. And it'd be such a shame to just to never use this because it is a beautiful palette, at least to me. You remember the episode on Friends where Phoebe doesn't want to ride her bike and Ross tries to convince her and he's like, Phoebe, this bike wants to be ridden. Otherwise, you're killing its spirit. It's dying. That's how I feel about this eyeshadow palette. It's dying. I'm going to revive it, okay? I'm just... I'm looking out for this palette. Lastly, I have a bunch of foundations that my friend gave me and I gave a bunch to my friends already and me and her were not the same shade. So I gave a bunch of her foundations pre-COVID to a bunch of my friends that are her skin shade. So these all gotta get thrown out. And then the last box is from Derma Blend. I got PR a couple times from them. I think like, actually, no, I think it was just the one time that I got PR from them. They gave me a leg and body foundation and it's SPF 25. It's supposed to be makeup for your leg and body. I mean, I've gone all this time without ever using it or trying it. And I think, I think I've survived just fine. So I'm gonna throw it away. And then the last thing is the Derma Blend Pore Saving Matte Makeup Primer. I'm gonna keep this one actually. And that is all the makeup that I'm getting rid of. Hold on. Okay, so you can see how big this bag is. I use this as a beach bag and it's completely filled almost to the top of all the products I'm getting rid of. Actually, let me go weigh this right now. Okay, all of the makeup that I'm throwing away weighs 12.8 pounds, almost 13 pounds, but I feel so much better about getting... Hi. Sorry, my dog. Will it... Ah! Guys, get away! I don't need you to lick my legs. I need you to get out. Momo, get out. Oh my God, so needy. You can't wait like 10 more minutes. I feel so much better about getting rid of the makeup because I feel like a big reason why I kept it is just to say I have a big makeup collection, but the amount of makeup that I actually use, it's it's not that much. And I don't know if it's age or just from experience, but having a lot of makeup doesn't really mean anything if you don't really get to enjoy it. So I feel a lot more confident that the products that I did keep, that ones that I really wanted to keep there, that I know I'm gonna use, and I feel like it simplified my life too. But that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed, and if you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up and feel free to comment down below what other types of videos you'd like to see from me. Also be sure to also be sure to follow me if you haven't already i try to post new videos every single week thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye